the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. The new Hell Sword. So as you can see, they've revamped it. I can say that they buffed the skills. So let's just start. First off, the skill, the Inferno Cut. They buffed the range. So as you can see, I'm gonna show it to. You. Also, they've buffed the exit skill, the Slash of Hell. So as you can see, they buffed the range and the speed. Okay, so we're gonna check the damage here. Not bad, guys. The the tenth hit is a critical hit. This sword is really good for PvP, and as you can see, you can now lure enemies using your exit skill, which is really really good if you wanna farm using a sword. There you go. So I tried this new buffed sword in the Golden Arena. Is it that called Golden Arena, right? What I noticed is that the damage is not that high, to be honest. You can one hit the waves 1, 9, not including waves 5 and 10 because there are bosses. We're in wave 3, there you go. Wave 4, there you go. And the starting wave, I think, wave 6. Yeah, you need to use those skills. If 1 to 5 will only require you to use the Z, Inferno Cut, but from 6 to 10, you need to use both skills. Again, wave 5 and 10 is not included because there's a boss. Okay? So Gamer Gnome, do you suggest using this sword in this kind of raids? No. I think the best sword is still, what do you call that? Acrocyte. We are approaching wave 11. Now I'm going to show you guys. Z skill. And X skill, check the HP of your enemies. Okay, again, I suggest Acrocyte here. There you go. It will regenerate your HP. Again, in, in terms of PvP, I think Hellsword is still better than Acrocyte. Okay, guys, that's it. See you later. Gamer Nom, out.